In this video, we will see about hash function. Hash function is one of the foundational pillar of the blockchain technology. That is, hashing introduces one of the core properties of the blockchain, which is immutability. Immutability means the value can't be changed once it is created. We see what is hashing in this video. In the layman terms, hashing means taking an input string or input value which can be of any length and fed it to the hash function which always produces a fixed length string as output. Hashing is one way compression function. We can't get the input string from the hash function output. That is, hash value can't be reversed to produce the input string. The transaction are sent through the hash function which returns a fixed length string. In Bitcoin, we use SHA-256 which is Secure Hashing Algorithm 256. That is, SHA-256 always returns a 256 bits long output, which is 64 characters. For example, here we pass text message as string input to the hash function. It returns a 64 characters length of string as output. Next, we will pass this is sample text as an input to the hash function it returns a different 64 characters length of string. Here the output will be unique for different input values. But the output characters length will be always constant. Whether it is a single character or a block with 1 million character. Or even the complete encyclopedia characters. Now we will see what are the properties that a hash function must possess. The hash function, which is also called as cryptographic hash function, SHA-256, must be deterministic. What is deterministic? For a particular input value, always the output must be same for any number of times. We see this with an example. First, we will input the string text message to the hash function. We got a 64 characters long hash, which starts with the characters CA470. Next, we will input the same string text message to the hash function. We are getting the same 64 characters string which we got first as the output. This is deterministic. Next, the hash function must return the output as quick as possible. Next property, a hash function must have pre-image resistance. What is pre-image resistance? That is, it must be infeasible to determine the input string from the output hash string. This is called as pre-image resistance. Next property that a hash function should process is avalanche effect. What is avalanche effect? Even if you make a small change to the input string, the change in the output should be huge. We see this with an example. First, we will send the string text message as input to the hash function. In the text message string, T and M are capital letter. We got a 64 character hash as output. Then we will make a small modification to the input string. That is, change the capital T in the text message to small t. Here it produces another 64 characters hash value which is completely different from the first hash value. If you see here, the change in the input string is very small. That is, the capital T is converted to small t but the resultant hash value is drastically changed. The first hash value and second hash value are completely different. This is avalanche effect. Even if you make a small change to the input string, the change in output should be huge. Next is very important property which is called as collision resistant. For any two different input strings A and B, the hash value of A and hash value of B must be different. That is, hash of different input string must always be unique. In the blockchain, each block contains the cryptographic hash of previous block, transactional details and timestamp. We will see more about this when we discuss about the structure of a blockchain. This is hashing. 